know uh, who the man on the right is because they read the paper and they go on YouTube and they see his podcast and his other things. The man on the left, of course, is no stranger to my audience. He's Mr. Matthew Granahan, a.k.a. the King of Connecticut. I like to say he's all the above, the man does it all. And we're here, and Matthew, I'm going to throw to you. All right, guys, uh, I'm here for uh, Phil Barone. He asked me to come here to this event. He's wrestling tonight in that ring. And I'm going to walk him out with, uh, with Mr. a -Light. And I'm going to do his promo. But I'm also here for another reason. There's a fighter, an MMA fighter, that some of you may not have heard about, but you should have heard about. John Gotti III. That's the grandson of the Teflon Don. And everybody knows his history. Most people know his son's history, Junior's history with this man. But what they don't know is the New York badass Phil Baroni's history with Mr. a -Light and with the Gotti family. And what I'd like to do at this time is I'd like Mr. a -Light to tell you all about that history and I want to issue a challenge on behalf of Phil Baroni. He's been asking me for the last two years to get him a fight with Gotti the Third. We've been chasing Derek Panza. They said they wanted no part of it. With the story you're about to hear from Mr. a -Light, this is a money fight. This is a fight that has to happen. So without further ado, John, talk a little bit about the history of Phil Baroni. So the people that don't know, Phil Baroni got nicknamed the badass in New York. So if you don't know who Phil was, he was raised since he's a kid uh, up the block from me. Uh, his father was involved with me. And Phil, as a young guy, was a tough, scrappy kid. At about 16 years old, for the people that don't know, he lived with me. And uh, Phil got involved in some criminal activity with me, the organization, the Gambino family. So when people call him and say he's the badass or what, well, he's a badass for a lot of things. He got involved in scores with me, he got involved in robberies with me as a young man. Uh, he's a real deal guy. Everybody knows that from the UFC. He's out there, he's popular, he's famous. And uh, we're going to let the rest of the world judge for themselves. So we're going to see John Gotti, his father, senior. I'm challenging him to get in a boxing ring with me. I want him to get in the ring. And on that same card, I want Phil Baroni to take it to John Gotti being his son. And so we'll see, we'll stop the talking and we'll see what goes on in the ring. I said, that's what this is about, right? We'll see what everything goes on inside that ring back there. And we'll see who's talking and, and who's just, and who's doing what they say they're gonna do. So let them come in, let them fight us. Let's take it where it belongs, inside the ring. I got my trainer here with me tonight, Denny Brown. Denny hands a lot of fighters, he'll tell you what he handles. So Denny, yes. 